And I remember probably, this is year 13, maybe year 10 or 11, uh, I shared my vision with, our, with my pastor. And he even was like, this is too much. He was like, this is huge. And um, one of the things I talk about in the book is in school, there were two girls, uh, Missy and Missy Goodlow and her aunt. What was their names? Gwen and I have been friends for 30 some years. <laughs> Missy and. Uh huh, there you go. And they were an aunt and a niece, but they were the same age. I couldn't get that. I mean, you know, we, you know, ninth grade, you're like, now how could they be the same age and be an aunt and a niece? And so, you know, over time I did figure it out, right? <laughs> but about uh, maybe five years ago, I was sitting in the sanctuary. And I was going through a time of waiting on God. I just kept saying, God, why is things not moving? What is wrong? And have you ever felt like you were pregnant with a purpose, with a vision, and a possibility? You know? And, and God said to me, he said, you're pregnant and he's pregnant. Meaning my pastor. He's pregnant with a vision, you're pregnant with a vision, and until you help him birth his vision, I will not let you birth yours. <laughs> and I sat in that sanctuary and I cried. This isn't fair. This is not fair. Because you gave me this. It ain't got nothing to do with him. I love him. But it ain't got nothing to do with him. And I think I've been faithful over a little. But God, I believe tonight, my first purpose in the earth, I need to say this, is the gospel of Jesus Christ. I thank him for all of these other gifts and talents and abilities, the books and the business and all of these wonderful things, speaking across the country and all things it's going to do. But I believe God needs someone to hear that it is important, and you being here tonight demonstrates this, that you help someone else birth. A lot of times we are delayed because we're not willing to invest in someone else. Whether it's a 1995 book, a prayer, T2, oh my God, and, and many of you over the years, Phoenicia and, and Pamela, how long have we been? About 80 years. Uh, you know, it can't be longer than me and Gwen, so. But just being willing to invest in someone is so important to helping your vision come to pass. You are blessed to be a blessing. You are not blessed to just bless. You're blessed to be a blessing. So I want to read this. It's called uh, The Interruption of Suddenlies. How many times have we heard people preach about suddenly moments? Man, may I share some good news with you? After you have, a, have addressed all your issues with waiting, being hard, not wanting to wait, frustrated at the wait, even being back at wait, God has a blessing on reserve for you. When you come to peace with and in your waiting place, there is a blessing waiting for you called suddenly. When we will, when he, when, when will he release it? I don't know. But what I do know is that it is at an appointed Kairos time. And I define that. Through time, though time is present, hear me, scripture bears witness of suddenlies where waiting seems to not be in the equation. It's just sudden. Now we think that sudden moments, um, the truth is, it was a whole bunch of stuff before suddenly happened. But when it happens, it's sudden. And God just wants you all to know, and that's what God did. He did a suddenly. I declared something coming into 2015 that God gave me about this year, that this was a year of breakthrough, this was a year of deliverance, what God was going to do, he was going to set people free and launch people out, and that is exactly what he said. And it's been suddenly, I've been on this for 15 years, waiting on God, and he's not done yet. And so I thank you all for coming. What's next, T2? Q&A. Q&A. So if you have any questions for Dr. How to write a book, what I did. Them shoes cute, me. <laughs> <laughs> While she shoe no. shots on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> any questions for me?
Come on in, mother. No questions?